You want to add more color to your 3D prints? Well, maybe Coprint has a solution for you very soon on their Kickstarter campaign, bringing more life and more color to your 3D printer. Coming up on Zachary's 3D Prints. Hey, hello, this is Zachary. Coprint, multicolor, multi material 3D printer solution for your 3D printer. That sounds already very nice and amazing, right? According to their website, this machine or this unit, you can add to any 3D printer that you might have. Not just only a Creality and a 3v2 like you can see on the website, but also some other 3d printers as well so shall we check out the website yeah maybe you have s seen it on social media like on x maybe on facebook where coprint already did some advertisements on their upcoming kickstarter campaign well here it is this is bringing color to every printer it does say it here already previously they had a kickstarter campaign before a seven color seven material printer i think that this is the one that they had before a multi-filament module but now they have something totally different it is looking amazing but how does it work what can you expect from it right it's just not one mo module it is an whole system it consists out of a chroma pad a chroma hat the cxi extruder because it's the whole system so let's take a look at the chroma pad the module the brains of this whole system meet chroma pad it kind of looks like a pad that most clipper machine uses nowadays like the one from creality the one from big tree tech some other printers are, or brands are also using a pad kind of uh, system where you can you know control your 3d printer using clipper but in this case yes also clipper can be added to this 3d printer chroma pad the world first multi-filament enabled clipper based 3d printing pad control up to eight printers remotely giving them a boost in printing speed you are going to add clipper to your 3d printers you can remotely control eight 3d printers a giant leap into future of 3d printing so on the back side as you can see here there are some ports some connectors where you can put them in can be expanded up to 20 colors using the extended chroma module the ac M. so with all the usb connections you can add more colors or more modules to the chroma pad what are they going to do just reading those two alineas they are already saying like for faster printing multicolor printing multi-material printing it is all done through this pad if you have a standard Creality and a 3 and a 3 pro or any other 3d printer in that regard this system should work on there up to 20 colors which sounds very nice and uh, also uh, printing speeds are going to be higher because it is using clipper which kind of configuration are they going to go for one panel to rule them all so like mentioned eight printers from a unified panel so with clipper you can have one raspberry pi controlling several 3d printers I have on, only done one Raspberry Pi with one 3D printer all the time, but with, within Clipper, you have the possibility to add more 3D printers to one single Raspberry Pi handling all those printers. I don't know how this machine is going to do that, but for me, I'm thinking about it, just having one 3D printer. I do see a Prusa machine over here and one there. I see also a uh, Creality and a 3V2 here. I see blue here. So I think that this is a different kind of 3D printer. Oh, this is a Foron 3D printer. I think then that one too. Normalizing speed for everyone. 60% less printing time. Well, that would be very nice, I guess. This is a seven inch screen that they are using. It has a four gigabyte RAM and 32 gigabyte ROM, four times 1.9 gigahertz ARM, Cortex A55 process in there. Like mentioned in seven, inch touch screen it has to be big right and a 64-bit soc here in the text it also says additionally 5g support 
What does that mean? Because I assume when you are going to have this in your 3D print farm or when you are adding this to your 3D printer, of course, when running Clipper, you need to connect it over Wi-Fi or over Ethernet. And so why mentioning 5G support? Click and go setup wizard. Chromapad is compatible with printers that support Clipper software. Really, does that do that? What they are saying, every single 3D printer that supports Clipper software, so technically almost every single 3D printer, unveiling a hub of connectivity. So here we have some screens, dashboard screen, move access screen and extruder screens. A bit farewell to radio screens. Basically, if you hit on your chroma pad, start print, the chroma pad, you know, you you can access it through your phone, through your PC or whatever thing you are using within your network. So you go to the IP address, you log in or just drop in and, you know, you can use all benefits. They have also co-print series premium membership. Of course, this machine works also with a print hat. They call it here the Chroma hat. This device is, as you can see, it has a ribbon cable and this ribbon cable goes directly to your Chroma pad. So meet the Chroma hat, a pioneering tool hat and a flagship component of the Chroma set. The Chroma hat is your gateway of your printer to the realm of future 3D printing, expanding the horizons of multi-material printing you see multiple colors but it also says multi-material for every 3d printer and every user so like you can see you see different kind of gantries passing by here this tool head can be added to every single kind of 3d printer so they say here with the chrome head precise filament cutting mechanism powered by a strong servo motor with up to 20 kilograms of force and a durable Japanese blade ensures a 99.9% .9 success rate in clean cuts. Sounds nice. High temperature up to 350 degrees C. Auto calibration, effortless rail plug system. As you can see here, you see the base plate and also here a 2020 aluminum extrusion. Advanced cooling. So meet the Chroma hot end. This is in combination with Fetus. This is a high flow hot end. Now we are going to look at the CXI extruder. In this case, there are four extruder heads mounted on top of your 3D printer or maybe some other way of mounting these extruders to a 3D printer. On the Chroma head, you have a direct drive system. But here, with this extruder, there is a system behind it. And if I am not mistaken, there should also be something like a extruder underneath. Why? Because if the filament is getting extruded or retracted, it needs to go somewhere. With the direct drive, of course, the filament is uh, extruding and retracting, from the printhead, but it needs to be handled after it was retracted by the extruder. My thoughts and ideas about it are that this machine, once it is retracted, the extruder on the backside pulling it backwards, of course. Also, once it, it reached the direct drive extruder in the printhead, then the stepper motor from the, this filament path is going to be disabled. So having a clean roll from the spool of filament directly to the direct drive extruder and the stepper motor doesn't do anything dual drive gears for every single extruder on this system very nice like mentioned multi-color mastery 20 shades of innovations now you see here on the picture you have only four extruders but with the ecm you can add more if you calculate it if this is the ecm you can go up to 20 colors universal plug adapter the xc1 extruder shines with its uh, universal fit i will put the link from this co-print in the description of this video let me know, what do you think about the Chroma print? For myself personally, I think that this is a very nice system, but not knowing the price at this moment and just making a guess, like six, 700 US dollars for the base set, the Chroma set, I think you can add more color to your 3 printer. But what the Kickstarter price is going to be and the retail price later on after the Kickstarter, time will tell. If you made it this far in this video, 
you are amazing if you didn't know that now you know a great thanks for these amazing patreon supporters and youtube channel members you are amazing thank you so much for your continuous support and you are also a part of the z3dp printing gang if you also want to join the z3dp printing gang well check out the link in the description become a patron supporter or checking out the perks in the youtube channel member tiers if you want to support this channel but don't want to spend any money at all hey i fully understand you can subscribe because almost 90 percent of the viewers are not subscribed so hey where are you waiting for and also you can like this video and share this video on other social media as well hey thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one peace bye bye